Hello, brothers and sisters, and welcome to Family Feud. I figured I played Jeopardy, I played Carmen San Diego, I played Wheel of Fortune, I played Super Password. Why not try the feud, right? <laughs> this is the Super Nintendo version of Family Feud. And I have not played this in years. Select game. Oh. We'll do a two family game. Actually, a one family game. One family. It'll just do a computer for the second one, right? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and keep the theme music on. I don't know if, uh, I'm going to try my best not to talk during the theme music. Well, maybe I should talk over it. Well, I don't know what to do. I don't know if, uh, YouTube's going to give me, um, give me any guff for that. So I I'm just going to let it, leave it in. And if I have a problem with it, I'll deal with that when I run into it. Family night. Oh, um, I will be... Can I fit... I'll call it the Brian family. Why not? Turning champs? Do I just type a no? How do I backspace? Not like that. No. Yeah, there seems to be a slight issue. It doesn't like the O. Oh, so what if I just do N? Boy, that's going to be really tricky when I type in answers, huh? It, it skates right past, right past the O, and no matter. Name a city that you think has the most tourist attractions. Most tourist attractions? I'm gonna say Paris. Really? I can think of two off the top of my head. Eiffel Tower, the Louvre. Name a story or rhyme featuring a character named Jack. Boy, I don't like this keyboard setup. What is the first thing you open when you come home at night? The door. Really? Really? Nobody said that. All you, all, all you inbox thinkers. That's what I said. Name and make a car no longer manufactured. The DeLorean. No. There we go. Nobody said DeLorean. Were there no Back to the Future fans in 1990-what-4? I know I was. Name an occasion when a man might be especially nervous. Job interview.
Really? Really? Eh. Okay. Okay, fine. All right. I wasn't going sexist with my answer, but apparently they wanted you to. Well, the woman gets oh, a woman gets nervous on her wedding or on her wedding trip. How many people surveyed top five answers around the board? Name something you buy by the court. Milk. I'll play. I'm also going to say orange juice. Juice? Okay. Um, what else can you buy by the court? Uh, Ice cream. Um, you buy strawberries, fruit you buy by the court. Okay. Oil? Maybe I should say motor oil. Oil? Okay. A quart of yogurt? No problem with the O that time. Yogurt. You never heard of yogurt? You heard of me? I'm just going to say fruit. Maybe they just want a generalization of fruit. I mean, you could buy a quart of sour cream. A quart of... I think I'm going to take it away. I've never bought a quart of mayonnaise. I've always bought a jar of mayonnaise. I've never bought it by the quart. Okay. Okay. Apparently there's a thing and they took all the points. points this round. Okay, it's always going to wait for me to hit the button. So the screen won't switch unless I hit the button. Okay. Out of 100 people surveyed, this top six, the top six answers are on the board. Name something bad a person might do on the first day of a new job. Quit. done that before. Got like four hours into a shift and just said, I quit. Take long lunch. Okay.
they're going to play. Okay. I get to think of all kinds of things that, uh, gossip, really, on the first day at work? Okay. I don't know who you gossip about. You don't even know anybody. Um, do on the first day of new job. Make a mistake. Uh, you could come in late, not show up. Um, you could break something. Next one. I give up. Wow. I give up. I want to do either not show up or break something. I'm going to write break something. I'm going to think maybe they establish you already there. Sums, sums. Let's try break something. Really? Show up late. Leave room. I w one of the ones I was thinking of will show up late, and that was number one. <sighs> yeah. Again, no points this round. Out of 100 people surveyed, the top four answers are on the board. Name something people do in Las Vegas. Gamble. Number one. And I'm going to pass. I imagine get married. Oh. In Las Vegas, you can go to all kinds of shows. Well, of course you can drink in Las Vegas. Really? That's up there? That's up there? what I was going to put. Well, I guess they get it all. Huh? I have lost. <laughs> uh, you know what? I should have never passed that. I never would have gotten drink because I thought that would have been a little bit. Oh, we got to watch this. Name a word associated with income taxes. Oh. Name something the president gets free use of. Telephone. Really? 
Tell many how many ties most women or most men own. Wow, these things are going fast. The White House definitely has large green lawns. Survey says. Survey says. Survey says. Survey says. Number one answer. Mm. Survey says. Word associated with income tax filing. Name something the president gets free use of money. No, I'm kidding. Email. How old were you when you learned to spell your name? Wow. Survey says. Survey says. Survey says. Wow. Survey says. Survey says. They had to break a hundred, right? And they didn't do it. Well, um, game. There we go. They won four hundred thirty dollars. Alright, let's see how much time we got left here. I'm gonna go ahead and play one more game. I'm just gonna write same, same family. Right there, it, it it's like I just just tap it, just tap it, just tapping it. Strange. No. There we go. I'm playing against the humble family. Name something you buy frozen. Ice cream. Well, you should buy it frozen. Bullseye. Staying twice tonight, day I thought of ice cream. God, I haven't had a lot of ice cream in a long time. Name a kind of tube. Test tube. That's too busy, kind of too. Wake up! <sighs> Fallopian? Yeah, that, those are tubes too. Name something that gets thrown by an athlete. Football. Name something people save. Money! Money! Bullseye. Name something police use to help them track escaped criminals. Ooh. Beacon. I don't know. I clicked it thinking it would be easy. And then when I got it, I couldn't think of anything. It's it's tougher when you're timed. We're gonna be playing for thirteen thousand dollars in the fast money. They'll play for five thousand. 
Let's see if we can actually do a thing with this. 500 people survey the top eight answers on the board. Name something that gets in your eyes and stings them. Dirt. Dirt. You can take control of the board with the higher answer. Name something that gets in your eyes and stings them. Salt can too. Salt water. Yeah. So I'm going to pass and just try to think of a good answer. And if they happen to run out of shit, you know, I can swoop right in and take the points from them. Of course. I had that thought last time, but I figured with eight on the board. Let's see what we're getting your eyes and sing them. Sweat wood. Isn't that just like salt water? Um, let's say, uh, snow. Um, Chlorine, yeah. Soap. I want to use, I want to do soap. Soap in your eye. Smoke does it too, you yeah. know. Oh, give me room to say soap. I think soap is number one. Please, please, please. No guess? Yeah, it gives me room to write my soap. Give it to me. Good old soap. Hairspray? I don't use hairspray. Victory dance. Name a pastime that used to be only played for intellectuals and snobs. Joust. Tennis. Yeah, true. True. Tennis. Golf. I'll say golf. Still is, am I right? <laughs> um, polo is another one, but I'm gonna pass and let them let them have fun. Watch them clean out the board like the last time. Bridge. I don't know. I've seen other people play bridge, except the uh, hoity toities. No guess. Really, no guess. Croquet is another good answer. No 
with this. I'm going to go croquet. I think that's a good one. Come on. Q U E T. Croquet. Please. Really? Chess? Okay, I even said polo. I even said said polo. And I got rid of the croquet. But yeah, chess makes sense. I love chess. Chess is a fun game. Well, it's fun for me. It's probably not fun. Like I I probably play chess on here, but you guys probably be very bored watching. And I I'm sure some of these games may look boring. I wouldn't worry that much. Alright, out of 100 people surveyed, top four answers on the board. Real or fictional? Name someone famous who was beheaded. Anne Boleyn? EYN. But it was up there. Really? The Headless Horseman? Oh, well, he is fictional. Okay. play. I think it was King Louis the 16th. I do Roman numerals or actually write 16? I'll do 16. Really? It, it, it's like, okay, I'd have to, it's like they wouldn't let me do 16. And of course I got an X. Um, who else was beheaded? Nearly headless Nick, but this was before Harry Potter. I'm just going to write Louis XVI. Stark. This and this is that's not going to be in there. But you know what? I'm not going to get it anyway, so I might as well have fun with it. I know spoilers. They didn't know it. Marie Antoinette. Oh, yeah. John the Baptist. That's right. I forgot about him, too. So only one of them was fictional. So I was trying to think, well, it's fictional. Got beheaded. And I'm sure there's, there's they're out there. I just don't remember for some reason. That's not the... the part of history that I think about. It's like a lot of people meet their demise different ways. It's, I don't think about that. 
I think about what they did to earn their demise. I just don't really stop and think, oh yeah, he was beheaded. He was hanged. He was kind of... Anyway. Name a type of powder. Sugar. It's a powder. Don't tell me it isn't. Ah, and you see, just because it wasn't up there doesn't mean it isn't an answer. Baking powder. Oh, oh, sorry. okay, gotcha. How are they gonna play? All right. Face powder. There's baby powder or talcum powder. Um, blasting powder. Gunpowder, that too. Same thing, same as blasting powder. Gunpowder is blasting powder, and blasting powder is gunpowder. The top one's gonna be baby powder. I know it. They give up. That's two strikes. Oh, give me the third strike, please, please. I ask, I ask, I ask for so little in life. So little. Should I write talk about it? Keep it simple. You know, I'm a good loser, but I'm a worse winner. <laughs> Just kidding. I can act like a jerk because they're not real people. Sorry, humble family. I'm gonna play for the fast money! Alright. Uh, press any button when I'm ready to play. I'm ready. Type of ship used in the Navy. Um. Navy. Uh. Yupo. God, I'm so stupid. Name a game that uses a ball. Baseball. Name a way teenagers imitate rock stars. Air guitar. Name something on the front door of a house. Knocker. Name something women do to their hair that they regret later. Cutting. Says, U boat. Yeah, that was a bad one. Survey says, number one answer. Nice. Survey says, yeah. Survey I said air says, guitar. Number one answer. Survey says. All right. Name a type of ship used in the navy. I'm gonna say aircraft carrier. I know U boat is a German thing. This one makes a little more sense, even though it probably isn't up there. Name I'm gonna go with football.
to use imitate rock stars. Sing. Something on the front door of a house. Um, doorbell. It's on the front door. Oh, kind of. Name something I'm going to do to the hair that I regret later. Die. Survey says Carrier. Number one answer. Nice. Survey says. Survey says. Survey says. Survey says. Number one answer. Nice. <laughs> All right. Thirteen thousand dollars. G F H K Q Q. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. That was fun. That was kind of fun. Uh, I'm sure it was more fun to play than it was to watch. Probably screaming answers at me the whole time. That's fine. But that's going to end this episode. Thank you so much for watching this with me. And, um, I, like I said, some of these, this is just a one off. I, I doubt I'm going to be going back to any of these games. But that was fun to play. That really was fun. But again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all next time.